a movement not of parliament. After two days of discussing what it referred to as the challenges facing the country, Azapo has joined the bandwagon calling for land reform. It says unless land inequality is redressed, communities will be justified in occupying land and returning it to its rightful owners. The organization says it realizes the willing buyer, willing seller model is not up to this national challenge. We support an, an, exp, an expropriation model as a revolutionary, progressive and orderly way to redress this injustice. If this fail, also fails, Azapo will support a revolutionary and radical program that will be led by the indigenous African people and the black working class to force the hand of colonial and apartheid settler white beneficiaries. Concern was also raised regarding corruption and crime, which it says is on the increase. Azapo says it's beginning to impact on governance, state institutions and service delivery. Government has clearly dropped the ball on this and we believe President Zuma, through his association with the Guptas, is not setting the right tone for the nation right at the top. Azapa will join hands with other patriotic forces to resist crime and corruption and find solution to this cage. On the education front, the organization threw its weight behind the Fees Must Fall campaign. It promised to engage policy experts and government to realize education for all. Lehana Tsutetsi, SABC News, Johannesburg.